Good morning, everybody, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We uh, started week 13 this past Thursday, which was Thanksgiving, and we are going to keep moving along. The last day of the semester is December 12th, so we have a little bit over two weeks to work on the remaining assignments. So as we jump into our course, Uh, we will start at week 13, and I'll start from there. So uh, I don't know that I introduced this grading criteria to you, but uh, LCC has a standard grading criteria that all students in English 122 classes are grade off, graded off of. And I put it here, and that link goes to this rubric, and it just talks about the content and the skills that we're looking for in an essay. So uh, just it's at the top of week 13, week 14, and week 15. And then we have an explanation uh, to essay three. We're moving into as the third essay, obviously. And essay three is about technology. I kept going back and forth about what essay I wanted to have you folks write, but I just decided on technology. We'll move forward with that one. Uh, here's a few articles and videos that you might want to take a look at to help brainstorm some topics. Uh, this one, 10 Year Journey with Tinder, that's a podcast, I think it's 20 or 30 minutes. It talks about a woman who began with Tinder 10 years ago, and she continually used it up for 10 years. And she noticed how not only did Tinder evolve, but her use of it evolved. This one is about Northwestern Michigan College up in Traverse City. It talks about using robots to interview candidates to eliminate bias. That's two minutes long. It's a video. This one, Instagram Your Leftovers, is about an Instagram historian. Yes, there are Instagram historians. And she uh, wants pictures posted on Instagram that reflect real life. And she gives a really interesting example that relates to groceries and takeout. So it, that one is pretty cool too. So I don't know, read these and see if you can't spark something. Uh, <clears throat> only three sources are, three or four sources are needed, I think. I think three sources. And just one source from the LCC database. So um, here's some other ways to brainstorm some topics by reading these sentences or reading these questions that might spark an interest. If you could please shy away from social media and uh, mental health, it's just very overused. And I would love for you to push your brain into something else. As you see, technology can expand into AI, into robotics, education, which is a timely topic, a public space and privacy. Think about how technology these days, GPS, uh, texts can now be used in a court of law before they weren't able to be used in a court of law. So these, the process is the same. We follow the writing process. One thing I was going to tell you though, is do the annotated bibliography before the working thesis. And then that way it's part of your brainstorming. It's like finding out what the chatter is out there and you won't know what the prongs are of your thesis until you actually do that research. Like what are the reasons for whatever? And so anyways, that's, the essay in a nutshell. And as far as week 13 is concerned, some people are still turning in their environment essays. That's why I kept that in there. Uh, synthesis paper, I extended the deadline to the 30th, but everything comes crashing down on the 30th. So please space your assignments out. Yes, I give you liberal due dates, but it's, I really want you to practice spacing those assignments out. I'm telling you, look at your your schedule. Uh, think about how much time it might take for each assignment and visualize you actually doing that and the amount of time that you have. Uh, brainstorming and, and preliminary research, please do that. And then this is what you upload. The annotated bibliography is on three sources. Uh, and then the working thesis. These three things should be done before our course on Thursday. And the reason why is because on Thursday, we'll be writing the first draft. I'm giving you those two hours to write the first draft. I, I'm there available to help you. Uh, you know, it, it, the first draft is due by midnight. We, we got to move along. I want to make sure that I give you some feedback as far as structure uh, before we meet again. And uh, 
and you know again that s synthesis paper which has been out there for a minute those are due uh, the, the second one is due the 30th and then on the 14th um, again I just I don't know why I put those assignments there but rough draft will be it's December 1st that's when we meet again and you have those two hours to write it again the synthesis paper is coming up again and the peer workshop we'll be doing on December 8th which is our last day and then after that then you'll revise your paper and turn it in that night and then we'll do the final draft is due four days later because I want to make sure I give you guys final uh, revision ideas that night too and then it's due on a 12th so um, hopefully that will work out with all of us <laughs> Um, and the thesis paper again. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that writing center, they can be used anywhere between the brainstorming section, finding sources, citing your sources the proper way, anywhere along those lines, anywhere along those lines. So all in, up until the polishing at the very end. So please keep them in mind. Uh, or you could do the cover letter or both, you know, or both. Uh, but the cover letter has to be in to me by the first draft or the second so that you can tell me what to focus on. I mean, by the time you turn in your final draft, it's, it's you're not going to look at my comments for the most part. So, or let alone remember them for when you write again. So, all right, you guys, this is what we got going on. And I, uh, I'm here available for questions, 810. Uh, 309-9312 and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. The synthesis paper should be done. Uh, synthesis paper 2 and then uh, brainstorming, annotated bibliography and working thesis will, should be done by the time you walk in on uh, uh, Thursday and then we have two hours to write our first draft. So um, anyways, I hope you have a great day and talk to you soon.